Hello. If you're looking to enhance your project management capabilities, you're in the right place. Here is step-by-step -step process to making it easy for you to set up Zoho projects with ViaSocket. Start with simply search for Zoho projects in the search box. You'll then see the available actions. Select the one that fits your use case. Let's start with get all projects, Select the action. After selecting desired action, you'll need to connect your Zoho Projects account. Click on Connect. This opens the authentication window. Select your Zoho Projects account region. Then enter your portal. Also follow the on-screen instructions to locate your portal if needed. You can also add title for your connection. Click on Authenticate button. You are now ready to connect your Zoho projects with ViaSocket by granting the necessary permissions. Click the Agree button to successfully establish the connection. Please wait to be redirected back to the ViaSocket window. So, now your Zoho projects are connected to ViaSocket, yours is now halfway complete. In this specific action, Get All Projects, no additional fields are required. You can simply click the Test button. Our action ran successfully. We have retrieved all the project details here. The action, allowing us to access detailed information about each project. This includes obtaining complete project IDs and organizing each project into separate objects. This making it easily to access and manage huge data within ViaSocket. By streamlining the data retrieval and organization process, you can more effectively oversee your projects. Now, let's proceed to the next action. Once again, search for Zoho projects in the same way. Next, let's test the Create Project action, which allows you to create a new project in Zoho Projects. Click on Connection again. You'll see that your connection is already established, so we can proceed using this existing connection. This action requires additional fields such as the project name and other applicable details for creating a project. For this demonstration, we'll only add the project name, but you can modify other fields according to your requirements. Now click on Test button to complete this action. Done. Here is our output after we successfully created the project. We got all new project details here.
Cross-check the new created project on Zoho project site also. So move to Zoho projects and then check here. This is our newly created test project by Viasocket. So we have successfully created a project. Move to the next actions, create a new task. Again, search for the Zoho projects and select create task as action. We already have connection, let's use it. For this action also we have fields, so simply fill the all required one for our use case. Select the project under which you wanna create the task. For this instance, we'll choose our recent project, test project, then enter the task name. I am giving test task as task name. Hit the test button to create a new task. This output shows we successfully created the new task. We got all details related new task. Again, C is really a new task added in my Zoho Projects account. Let's more to Zoho Projects task section. A new task is added named as test task under the test project. So yes, this is what we tried to do. We created a task by Viasocket. That's it. We've demonstrated how to integrate Zoho projects with Viasocket to seamlessly manage your projects and tasks more effectively. Thanks for watching.